Hi, I'm Dr. Padma Gadiar. I'm a dentist who's been practicing for 20 years, a dental practice owner based out of Brisbane, Queensland, and now the founder of Australia's first virtual care dentist that brings dentists in everyone's pocket, anytime, any place. I graduated in India and then migrated to Australia in 2007. As soon as I came here, I started my Australian Dental Council exam process to be a full-fledged APRA registered dentist in Australia. But that was that process would take me three years. We have series of exams for that. During that phase, I worked as a dental nurse, dental assistant at 1300 Smiles, and that gave me the insights into how a, the dental industry as a whole operates in Australia and gave me the first uh, stepping stone to be a good practice owner. Once I finished my exams in 2011, I immediately started my first practice in 2012. Um, that was a huge learning experience as a business owner and as a young graduate as well. And from there, in a few years, I started another practice and then the saga continued going into another practice, another practice and growing into medical and dental industry. Uh, during that phase, I also experienced explored into mentoring other dentists, into starting up uh, their dental practices, as well as helping multiple other dentists to exit, uh, you know, or retire from their practices as well. And I wrote a book about uh, uh, buy, build and sell that's hugely focused on healthcare, medical and dental sectors on how to start and exit successfully. Having um, consulted in over 400 dental practices at that time, I quickly understood that patient is the focus of a thriving business because if, if there's no patients coming in, there is no actually uh, services being provided or th there's no um, income for a dentist. And um, we were assessing a lot of key performance indicators and I could see month on month the acquisition cost for marketing was increasing. And we interviewed a few patients at that time and they said they didn't know about uh, dental care. They didn't know where to come. They didn't know. They didn't think it was a priority. They, do, they thought that the dentist was overcharging. Uh, the dentist was doing unnecessary treatment. And it all came down to lack of oral health literacy for them. And that's when I founded Smilo.ai. It gives instant personalized report and recommendations to the patients just using their uh, smartphone and using our inbuilt artificial intelligence technology that is designed and trained by dentists. Smilo.ai gives you an instant dental check in just a few clicks. From just a few selfies on your smartphone, Smilo gives you an instant report on dental cavities and gum disease with personal recommendations. A pain-free dental check from your smartphone Fast and easy, less than three minutes to complete. An instant report on dental cavities and gum disease. Smilo.ai, the concept came into existence in late 2019. It was still in the conceptual stages when COVID hit. And I knew I had to take this path because dental practices were shut down. Uh, uh, because we were high aerosol producing profession, uh, we were told not to do preventative services and only emergency was allowed and I knew for the future of the pro profession would go digital and patients would be asking for a digital solution. So with Smilo.ai, we offer digital uh, checkups, smile simulations, and uh, patient engagement tools for better oral health uh, education and literacy. We have uh, over 50 dental practices in Australia that are using our product, um, over 10 pharmacies, product companies, and healthcare organizations. We have over 120,000 people who are using our platform. Smilo.ai is Australian grown app. So we are TGA level one approved patent pending and store all of our data in the AWS service in Sydney. Data and privacy, cybersecurity is the prime importance in our organization. We are currently working on our HIPAA compliance GDPR for our expansion into the US, India and the UK market. Smilo is currently uh, being used in Australia between the age group of 21 to 45 years old, both male and female populations. 
but our product is not just designed for the younger population it is designed to be used on kids as well as the older population right now people don't know a product like this exists so with the uh, more partnerships more collaborations uh, with age cares with schools and much more marketing activities we plan to get it in the hands of everyone and because it's usable on web app and on smartphones we feel the adoption to the product will be much more I'm the founder of Smilo.ai and I'm a dentist, but using artificial intelligence technology is just going to make providing dental service and dental care more efficient because the more people know about it, there will be much more prevention for the future because it will be uh, identified early, pre-screened early and treated early. So there won't be any expensive treatments, but that doesn't take the dentist out of the loop or from any service they are going to provide. But we are going to have more and more people who are going to be more literate about their oral health, seek care, seek intervention, and be knowledgeable as well. So this will actually help to expand our markets beyond the 47% people that actually go to the dentist and also uh, you know, create a democratized oral health care for all. It's not just for the rich, it's for everyone. <music>